<laughs> it is now time for Ask the Expert. Today we are going to talk about a dog test at the Wisconsin Humane Society, and it's called the Canine Good Citizen Testing. So we have Heidi Boyd. She's joining us live this afternoon, and you have a good friend here with you very who shy. I would say is shy. Yes, she is. This is Belle. She's a very sweet girl. She's six mm -hmm. months old, um, and she is very shy, kind of reserved. Mm -hmm. All right, so would she be a candidate for the Good Citizen Award? She would <laughs> be or a test? Yes, she would be a good candidate to take the class okay. for the Good Citizen uh, certification. So okay. what is it? That's a great question. So in 1989, mm -hmm. there was uh, they established this test. It's sort of a nationwide established certification to promote responsible dog ownership and good uh, dog behavior. So that brings me a question because as we notice uh, when Belle came in, little quiet, you know, shy, little reluctant. All the dogs could be like, can't mm -hmm. wait to get up here, do right. that. So there's two different personalities there. Mm -hmm. How do you then navigate them through a test that measures all different types of things? So it's really good to take a class and they do training with the dog and the owner on uh, 10 different skills. Um, some of them are greeting strangers, walking loosely on a leash, mm -hmm. um, appropriate behavior um, in lap or in a crowd, things like that. And so you'll work for seven weeks with a trainer um, in a class situation to really help establish good behaviors for your dog. So what is the benefit of what comes out of this test for the owner and for the dog? So for the dog, the benefit is just really uh, comfortable being in all of those situations because those are situations that I just mentioned that mm -hmm. that dog is going to be in every day. If you walk in a neighborhood, you're going to greet strangers and other animals. So um, it's good training to have. For the dog owner, uh, the, one of the benefits is, especially if you're a renter, you can then get a certification. Oh, you and you can actually show your landlord, and some landlords take that as um, uh, an opportunity to waive any other pet restrictions they might usually have. Usually when I took a test, 7 out of 10 would be good for me. <laughs> what are you looking for with these pets? You're looking for a 10 out of 10. You are. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough test, but most dogs pass with flying colors if you practice with really? your owner. Mm -hmm. All right. And mm -hmm. what is the, uh, one of the highlights of that? You mentioned some of the things, but what, what do you really want to see at the end of this test? You're really looking for good behavior and then a good bond between the owner and the dog. Good listening, so, you know, follow exactly, commands. Exactly, following directions mm -hmm. and um, good positive reinforcement of those behaviors. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing will lead to success. All yeah. right. Well, if you have a question for our experts, you can email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail at 967-5253.